Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? USCJ here, man. Listen, it's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope you guys getting ready to get up, get out, make some things happen, man. Get your walk on, get your crawl on, get your run on, whatever you got to do. Make some things happen this morning, man. Listen, we got a couple of news and no items I wanted to touch on. Uh, I want to touch on this new, brand new list that just came out. 24-7 Sports just put it out. And uh, it's the number, it's the wide receiver you. You know, I've, I've discussed this back in the past, talked about uh, the quality receivers that came out of USC. Now they re-rated it, and uh, they do it annually, I think. And uh, they put a new one out, and I want to touch on that list. Um, and and we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that as soon as I get through some of this recruiting stuff updates and as well as some uh, on-the-field updates. Um, it's really no on-the-field updates, really, being that practice is closed. But minor, minor, minor updates here, and, and it's one that's coming from, um, it's kind of a surprise to me, um, Ray John Davis. Well, not so much as a surprise. I really, I, I hope that they really understand and really know how to use this guy, utilize this guy, because you guys remember he was committed to LSU and uh, he was a big time recruit, man. But it looks like it looks like they moving him uh, possibly to safety. Um, they nobody's seen him really working out with the linebackers. And uh, from what I hear, he's moving with the safeties and he's running with the third team. And that's kind of that's kind of uh, strange or weird, if you will. Uh, I mean, I you know, you guys tell me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. And this defense, the three three five. I told you guys it's a little bit of a different defense. I'm not necessarily a fan of it, but I do understand and I do realize that um, it can work. I understand that Alex Grinch's system can work. I know he had much success at Washington State University running this style defense, but somebody like a traditional outs real outside linebacker like a Rajon Davis, um, I, I, I just kind of question whether it fits his style or not. Um, and, and to me, he's not a true middle linebacker. I kind of had a conversation with somebody um uh, on uh, Instagram, one of the guys I, I'm uh, I'm good with, we, we have a conversation, we go back and forth. I kind of wonder if outside linebacker, uh, well, inside linebacker was Ray John's true position. I, I, I never felt like it was. I felt like the outside linebacker was him uh, being able to, because that's how he did, that's what he did at modern day high school. He was kind of a freestyle guy and kind of come off that edge with speed and uh, was able to utilize him in the proper way. So you guys hit me in the comment section. Rajon may be moving to safety. It looks like it appears that way. I want to know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. USCJ32 on Instagram. USCJ32 on Twitter. Now, we got some recruiting updates. We got some, we got some, listen, man, it's been continual momentum as it relates to recruiting. Recruiting continues to move and groove, and it looks like USC is starting to get uh, more and more, and everybody else's top, uh, Top 10, top 6, top 5, and lo and behold, today we got another one. We got another one actually this week, earlier this week, we got another one that put out his top 6, and this guy's getting ready to make his commitment pretty soon, and he's another one that we need. He's a big ugly. He's a big, big defensive line guy. We need this guy, and yes, USC is in the mix, and this was a guy who actually came and visited um, on um, June the 17th, that big recruiting trip, and let me tell you, now it's starting to appear, it's starting to look like, this recruiting trip is really starting to be a success for the USC Trojan. It's looked like that we're starting to get some of these guys, and some of these guys are starting to lean. Uh, of course, we're waiting on uh, Elaney Noah. He's getting ready to commit as well. I believe I told you guys that he was a part of that trip as well. I believe that he's getting ready to commit. Some some suggest that he's getting ready to commit within the next week or two. And uh, I told you guys I believe he's coming to USC. Um, his relationship with some of the guys. Michael uh, Benuelos and some of the other guys that are here uh, with the University of uh, Amos Talele, some of the other guys that are here with the University of Southern California. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think about that. But uh, Eric Hill, 6'3", 290-pound guy. Um, he's from North Kansas City. I mean, he's a huge guy. And like I told you, he's a four-star prospect. Uh, he's number 27 nationally as it relates to being a prospect, and he's number seven uh, in the Missouri area. So this is a big-time guy. He puts us in his top six, big old body guy, 
uh, somebody that's 6'3", 290, he's ready to come in and play. Um, and he still has a senior year. By the time he gets out of school, this guy's going to be ready to rock and roll with this thing, man. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Momentum is moving and grooving. His top six is USC, Oregon, Alabama, Oklahoma, and Missouri. So listen, USC has a good chance. Um, he came and visit us on the 17th. He came, he went and visit Alabama the following week, but I still think we got a big chance. I still think we got an opportunity. Last person that came from that area, I think was Trevor Charles. He came from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I think, and he was a D tackle as well. So listen, we, we got, we in it to win it. I think we got an opportunity here. You guys hit me in the comment section. It, it, it's another D, D tackle, uh, prospect so uh next one is going to be and this and listen i love this i love this move right here i love this move right here this is another defensive tackle um his name is caleb bryant he is from vicksburg mississippi and uh uh he's a 2023 prospect he's a big body guy as well he could put on some weight as well but he's a 6'3 guy 250 uh he's a d line and he's uh his d lineman uh, ranking is 60 overall, 60 overall, and he's ninth uh, player in the state of Mississippi. He's a big body guy. Now, here's the deal. This is what I think we should start doing more of. Now that we have momentum, I like what I see and I like what I'm hearing as it relates to how we're getting this guy because this guy, get this, he is a Utah commit. This guy is a Utah commit, but I think I think we got an opportunity because he sees the momentum and Utah along with Oregon, they might be playing in the uh, Big Sky Conference or they might be playing inside of the uh, Mountain West Conference. So, so it, you know, the thing is this, we come on and play the big boy football. I told you guys this move to the Big Ten is going to start changing guys' mind. It's going to, they, hey, it's, it's going to be shuffling going on. And a lot of these teams that are not coming along with us, they get ready to be lost in the sauce. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Big time commit. Uh, prospect and uh, he's committed to Utah and we're going to steal him away from Utah. You guys hearing it from me first. USCJ32 on Instagram. This is how you can hit me. USCJ32 on Twitter. Once again, that's Caleb Bryant, 6'3", 250 out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. Number 50 uh, 60 of uh, D-line prospect in the country and number 9 in the state of Mississippi. You guys hit me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Now, we got another big time D commitment. Uh, he's on the radar as well for us. His name is uh, 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 Bravion Rogers, 5'10", 185 pound. Um, he decommitted. He's a four star prospect, uh, a four star prospect, and he decommitted from Texas A&M University. You guys, I'm telling you, you guys are going to start seeing more decommitments come um, from, from Texas A&M because they got, they kind of flooded. They, they, they're so far. They're not even on the radar, really, I don't think, um, as it relates to recruiting because this number one class that they had last year, this was, I guess, considered the best class overall uh, forever. I mean, ever. The best class ever. And so uh, you're going to start probably seeing decommitments. And, uh, you know, we want to we wanna capitalize on any decommitments, even like the Utah prospect that's committed to Utah. It looks, listen, we on the radar for him as well. So, listen, you guys hit me in the comment section. Uh, you tell me what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe, USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Now, I got to get to this list here. We got an important list here, and USCJ has been telling you this for some time now, that USC, USC is not just no uh, powder puff, Mickey Mouse operation as it relates to uh, uh, wide receiver U. Now, you know, some people suggest that other schools are wide receiver you. They say Bama's wide receiver you. They say LSU's wide receiver you. Now I'm gonna come out. This is another one. This is an article by 24. Uh, I'm sorry. This is a this is ESPN's ranking. 24/7 Sports is reporting this article. This is ESPN's ranking right here, and it says USC, LSU headlines wide receiver you ranking uh, by ESPN. Let's look at it real quick, and I want to touch on this, and I'm out of here. So. Let's let me let me start from the bottom because I, I don't want any. They got the top five. So number five is going to be Ohio State. Ohio State, we know, had great, great receivers and they got some of the guys, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave. Uh, of course, you got Jackson Smith, a, a Jigma. You got Marvin Harrison, Jr., Julian Fleming, Michael Thomas. Uh, so you got Terry McLaurin. So you got some guys like that, notable players. Then the next one's going to be. Uh, uh, Oklahoma Sooners. You got C.D. Lamb, notable players. They're, they're number four. Oklahoma's number four. 
You got uh, C.D. Lamb, Marquise Brown, Marvin Mims, Theo Waste, and uh, let's see, number three, you're going to have Alabama Crimson Tide. You got Amari Cooper, Julio Jones, Jalen Weddle, uh, Devontae Smith, Jamison Williams, guys like that um, that, are, that have came out of the University of Alabama. So number two, they're going to have LSU. And you got notable players like Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, Odell Beckham, uh, Jarvis Landry, and uh, and of course you got Keyshawn Boutte who's there now, and uh, and uh, and that's who you got. And so for number one, lo and behold, they got USC, the University of Southern California. Now I told you guys, I told you guys that USC is university is wide receiver. You, I told you guys this plenty of time. Now the, here are the receivers that they got. And I told you guys, remember you guys, I told you when Jordan Addison came to USC, I told you that, it, listen, it's going to be a kind of a surprise, surprise thing. And he confirmed that. He said that out of his own mouth. I said, USC has always had receivers. I told you guys way, way back in April, they've always had receivers. So the notable receivers, of course, they got down here is Drake London, Juju Smith-Schuster, Michael Pittman, Robert Woods, and then notable players that they currently have. Jordan Addison, of course, Mario Williams. You got Gary Bryant Jr. We got a slew of them right now on the current roster. But of course, I didn't even go down. I didn't even go down the list. You got Nelson Aguilar. You got uh, Marquise Lee. You, of course, you got. Uh, uh, but this is way back though. Keyshawn Johnson. You got a multiple, multiple receivers that make uh, USC wide receiving you. Why wouldn't you want to come to USC to be a receiver? Because USC has always established himself. Of course, I don't really think they don't even have Amon St. Brown on here. Amon St. Brown. So so listen, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. You guys agree because I know we got some Oklahoma people uh, that, that that subscribe. We, we got some uh, Ohio State people. We got, uh, I think, some Michigan people. We got uh, uh, some Alabama guys. You guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Is USC no, I, I say yes. Is USC why receiver you absolutely i want to know what you guys think hit me in the comment section you tell me what you think like share subscribe uscj let me let me read this real quick and i'm out of here it says even while usc has had some down years and i told you guys the same thing some down years since former coach p carroll left for the seattle seahawks the trojans have continued uh to churn out a a my rate of high level nfl prospects at wide receiver london is the program's most recent first round pick having gone number eight overall to the atlanta falcons in the 2023 uh um 2022 nfl draft Pittman, meanwhile needed just one season to establish himself as a likely star with the Indianapolis colts and so listen you guys hit me in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. And let's talk about, you guys hit me, what you think about that Rajon move. I want to know what you guys think about it in the comment section because I think Rajon is, you know, I, I, th I like him as a true outside linebacker, but we don't have that. They got Romillo Height, Corey Foreman, guys like that. It's called the rush in, and that's considered an outside linebacker. This, that's why this defense is kind of different. So does, he, does this defense fit, Rajon? I guess that's the better question. You guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Let me know what you think about those prospects, too. Let's go grab a Utah commit. Fight on, fight on, fight on.